Now then, TikTokers, how are we doing? So good to have some new followers with us, including John and Jaden and uh, Harry Wilson and Gospo Promo. I'm going to give you guys a little tag and hopefully you can give us a little share. Hallelujah. So today we're going to continue reading Jesus' words in the Gospel of John. And we're looking at John chapter 2 and verse 16. And to those who were selling the doves, he said, Take these things away. Stop making my father's house a place of business. And right here we see Jesus issuing us a challenge. He wants us to put people before money. In a letter to Timothy in the Bible, Paul wrote and said that there were these people that went around and would essentially train folks in the area of prophecy so that they could be financially and sexually compensated. How crazy is that? In the book of Revelation, Jesus told the church at Smyrna that they had been acting like they were poor, but actually they were rich. I can imagine them saying things like, hey, we could do with all this extra money for some extra outreach that we want to do. Put in some funding bids in and stuff like that to all sorts of different people saying, hey, we're actually struggling and we need some more money in order to be able to cope with the need. When actually it seemed that they had plenty of cash, but probably didn't use it particularly well. The truth is that the church isn't a business. And sometimes when we are struggling financially, we start to feel a bit anxious. And all too often what I've seen is Christians and church leaders can sometimes see their eyes turn into dollar signs as they look at folks who are going to pay their way or pay their way out of a struggle. But Jesus wants us to put people before money. If we're struggling, we need to budget better not start a multi-level marketing campaign in the church. Some preachers have become adept at coupling the gospel of sin and forgiveness with prosperity and healing, and they make an art out of getting cash out of congregations. Others employ financial and marketing advisors in order to turn their church into a fluid money-making machine. This often starts in a place of needing cash for the mission. But the problem is, as soon as we start chasing money more than we're chasing people, we've missed the heart of Jesus. Our bank account is not the mission. The shoes we wear are not the mission. And once again, reading words of Jesus from 2,000 years ago, he's still able to challenge us to the core of who we are. If we feel anxious about finances, if we're not doing it particularly well, we need to find a way to budget better or become less high maintenance in our lifestyle. To Jesus, people come first. Maybe this week you could give up a cost of coffee to go and help someone out who hasn't had a sandwich today. Or buy someone shopping for them. I quite often like to buy flowers for the local doctor's surgery. Because people are more important than money. I'll see you next time.